When it comes to one-year-old Isaiah, Jay, you are not the father. Jose, we're going to find out right now, one way or another. When it comes to one-year-old Khalees, Jose, you are not the father. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard for Gentlemen, what has ears but never listens? What has ears but never listens? A. My brother B. A corn C. A female dog Or D. A rabbit These bitches you No know, people having Chival Chivalry's dead because women killed it Wow How? Like it or not like it or not, here's the thing. You need to actually tune into the world and get out of your bubble. Because I'm like it or not, bubble. yeah, you are. Because I guarantee you, go into the comment section. You'll even have the women telling you, "Don't you hear you're talking about?" I mean, the if they want to, the if they want to come the up here and that, speak, the, no, 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 you don't invite people to my platform. Okay, I'm sorry about that. You may I'm be cute saying, to other people. You're I'm just not trying to be. I'm not. Enemy cream gobbler detected. Cream gobbler opinion rejected trying to represent every woman on well but thing is you're talking about women should get respect no if you're going to say women should get respect then you should submit to all men i don't think i should submit to all men well and then you and then a woman should not get respect and value you're just another person you earn first of all i think all humans you earn, should be well that's not that's a nice that's a nice utopian concept Okay. But the bottom line today, the, the reason the dating market is the way it is today mm -hmm. is because women have abused the free market system. You don't see your, your grandmother, your great grandmother's generation didn't have the problems modern women had. You're the most educated, the freest, the most liberated group of women that ever lived. And you're the most unhappy at all. Why? Because one. Nuclear rejections. So entitled. Sometimes I think some of the modern woman's brains today is like a McDonald's ice cream machine because it never seems to work. And keep this in mind, fellas, this lovely lady right here, this avatar-like creature, this handsome Squidward is going to be somebody's wife one day. And I understand that every guy has different types of women that they like, just like how some people like vanilla beans in their coffee. Some people like cream in their coffee. And you know, I like my coffee how I like my woman. Black. So now I'm going to show you guys the cheek slang analysis and statistics. Have a look at this chart here. I got this chart from Kevin Samuels. And by this chart, it states from the 2019 American Community Survey notes that men are now more likely to be single than women, which was not the case 30 years ago. Black people are much more likely to be single at 59% than any other race. And black women at 62% are the most likely to be single of any sector. Asian people at 29% are the least likely to be single, followed by whites at 33% and Hispanics at 38%. So look, looking at the data given here, it sucks to see that our brothers have it the worst. I am an Asian man. And I also noticed the fuckery in some of the Asian women. So I must say it has to deal with the Western illness because when you have these professional harvester of Kareem gobblers like Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. Go straight. I want to go. Oh yeah, you wanna f me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to this hotel. And I drop up and I rob that. That's what I used to do. 
in the final boss of Cream Goblins, the rhinoceros giraffe, hunchback, well, nutty professor looking ass Lizzo. Oh my God! Cook, I don't clean, but let I me take nasty bitch. And when you have these fours and fives thinking that they're nines and they think that they deserve a six figure man and a muscular man, sweetheart, you don't need a man, you need a diet plan. And when you see these cream gobblers walking around with this kind of entitlement, fellas, I think we're starting to deal with the worldwide mental illness. My sister's been through a lot of dick. Nowadays, I would say roughly about 45 through 75% of people, they do not want to grow together. My brothers, may I share cheek pounding prophecy verse one. It states, love is not an emotion, but a commitment between two parties, a devotion. My brothers, if there is no loyalty, there will be no love. You were cheated? For sure. I have. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. These hoes ain't loyal. I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. It was a very good time. <laughs> I cheat on everybody and I don't feel bad. In the name of the cheek slang collaborations verse 69, it states, if she was in her 20s and wanted to act like a hoe by the age of 30, she'd be the first one to say, where did all the good men go? What happened? Where did all the men go? And these are the types of girls. Cheek slang Proverbs 42. She expects to be treated like a queen, but sweetheart, you've taken more loads than a washing machine. Cream gobbler. And these are the types of women, when they get into the age of 30, they're gonna be like, oh my God, men are so disgusting. And they only want one thing. If it's disgusting, then sweetheart, I think you might need to clean what's down there because it smells like a Chinatown fish market because that wop has probably been cremated and chopped into a thousand pieces. So fellas, is society to blame? Have we lost all hope for humanity? My brothers, have no fear. The Cheek Slayer is here because there is still hope. There's still some good women out there. But finding a good woman today is like seeing a Bigfoot riding a unicorn. <laughs> But first, may I welcome Cheek Slang Pastor Jordan Pearson to speak to the gospel. You have to particularize your problem. Why can't men find women to date? That's not your problem. Your problem is mm. why you can't find the woman you want. Yeah. And you, you have to assume that's your problem because otherwise you have to assume that it's the women's problem. And yeah. really, they're all wrong and you're right. Really? Hmm, lucky you. Maybe you are. You're an undiscovered gem of some sort. Probably not. So what you guys need to understand is that we can never change the current data market, but we can change the way we approach the data market. I don't want you guys to be like these black pill incel guys, overweight as fuck, living in their mom's basement and just jerking their Johnson all day. <gasps> Stroking their chicken all day, slapping the monkey all day, and busting all kinds of nuts on themselves, the endless tales of ejaculation. My cheek slang warriors are not like that. The only place we are ejaculating is on girls' faces and ass cheeks. <laughs> I'm, the oh, I'm about to bust. My brothers, you can either hate female nature and live with your right hand your whole life, or you can either understand female nature and go out there and become cheek slang terrorist. I don't know about you guys, but we are not like these black pill guys. At no point in my career will I ever back down. I will never back down. My cheek slang soldiers are slang cheeks in this life 
and we are for sure going to be slaying cheeks in the afterlife. So my brothers, listen very carefully because some truth bombs are about to be dropped. To really understand and grasp the concepts of hypergamy, what you guys need to understand is that hypergamy has no equality. Hypergamy does not play and abide by the same set of rules that men play by. Hypergamy does not seek the emotion, what we call love. Hypergamy does not invest in love. Hypergamy only seeks to satisfy one condition and one condition only, the ability to adapt and survive. And fellas, cream gobblers, you may now speak to the gospel. I want like 20 different guys to net in a cup, like 20 different races, 20 different guys. I want You're gonna have the most exotic baby <laughs> in the world. No, it's like who, whoever the best wins. To translate this in the language of the cream goblinese, a woman only wants to reproduce with the man that satisfy three branches of hypergamy, which is looks, money, and status. And these three branches are divided into two separate segments, creative intelligence and social intelligence. Listen very carefully because this is a way for a man to escape the loophole of hypergamy and being able to satisfy his reproductive needs, AKA digging out guts. The first one is going to be your creative intelligence. Creative intelligence is, can you use your creative intelligence to build a name for yourself? Can you use your creative intelligence to take a small business from chicken scratch and grow your business? Can you use your creative intelligence, which is a man's skill sets, to go get that money? Can you use your creative intelligence to build a process to acquire revenue? And creative intelligence falls under the category of status and money. And fellas, for example, female nature, Girls want to fuck Jeff Bezos because he's Jeff Bezos. He has the money and status. And basically what female nature is doing is she wants to replicate eight of those bald motherfuckers that is going to change the planet because Jeff Bezos, he's smart as fuck. And the second thing is going to be your social intelligence. This is going to fall under the category of looks and charisma because looks get your foot in the door, but can you talk to a human being or when you go to up to a girl you go from the chosen one to the frozen one remember this gentlemen looks get your foot in the door but your charisma and personality is like the fatality on ass cheeks and all you gotta do is fucking finish her finish her, Fuck yeah. finish her. <laughs> but fellas when a woman wants to reproduce with you, she's basically saying, I want to reproduce that handsome motherfucker because he has good genetics. She wants to replicate you. Now, gentlemen, listen very carefully. If you cannot satisfy one or two areas of hypergamy, look, status, or money, if you do not have any of this, by definition, hypergamy is not going to want to reproduce with you. Therefore, your genes are going to die off because the weak will not survive. I know this is the cold, hard truth, but just understand that your brothers are here for you. And just understand that Brother Fujita loves you. Love because in the name of the cheek slang collaborations, my brothers, do not hate female nature but determined to be greater. Alpha male strategies, you may now speak to the gospel. Women about resources. Get you some resources, sell that bitch a dream, fuck that bitch to sleep, and then dump that bitch to the side of the road. The fuck I'm seeing all these motherfucking crying ass videos about female nature. Oh, if I lose my job, they'll lose me, and they use us for days. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that shit. I found out about female nature. I learned about they love resources. I went out and got me a nice car. I started dressing nice. I sell these bitches a dream. I dick them down. And then I toss them to the side of the road. Yes! I and if you guys don't remember anything else, remember this. If you are born as a man, if you look down there right now, and if you have a cock, a one-eyed cyclops, when you are born as a man, you are at a deficit to hypergamy because by definition, a man must become, but a woman is just born because alphas, 
are not born. They are made, scolded, resilience, going through trials and tribulations to become a stronger masculine man to prove himself to the tribe. And those who cannot compete, those are the genes that are meant to die. Now, may this wonderful lady preach to the gospel. When you take away all of our socialization skills since birth, we are just animals. Our animal instinct as female mammals is to mate with alpha males, to continue the species with the strongest male out there. The strongest seed has uh, you know, the most chances of survival. That's just evolution's way of weeding out the weaker genetics from the gene pool. And the alpha males, the males will fight for the rights to mate, to spread their seed, to make copies of themselves. And only the strongest male, the alpha male, will be able to mate with the females. And uh, I believe some of that instinct is still left in women today. I mean, that's just what we were here to do. My brothers, the RP shows you guys a lot of the negative side of women, but we never get to show you guys the positive side. There are those outliers like Conor McGregor and his wife. His wife stood by his side when he did not have a pot to piss in and a window to tow it out of. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. And brother Kendrick Lamar, shout out to black love. Ain't nothing like seeing black couples together happy. Fucking black excellence. Shout out to all my brothers watching this goddamn video. And my brothers, man, I finish this video off with this verse. My cheeks slaying disciples from all over the world. Collaborations, Prometheans 1817, it states, if you focus on your purpose and grind, the ass cheeks shall flock behind. And brothers, this, please, Finish off with these positive vibes. What the revolution is, bro. None of this fucking side comes. We're all gonna fucking make it, bro. That's it. Shut up. I can handle it. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh, God, that hurts. Oh, oh, God, I'm so tired. Oh, God, I, I didn't want to lose her. Oh, God, I, I didn't want to have that pain. Oh, God, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you love me so much, don't you? Yes. Oh, God, thank you for what you're making me. You're welcome.